uh, Kareem played till he was, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar played till he was 42. Um, LeBron said something the other day about how he probably won't play when he's 46. So, so maybe somewhere between, you know, now and 46, so another 10 years, somewhere, you know, whatever he wants to do, um, we, we love having him. Because Jeannie Buss said Braun said he won't play till he's 46, I think this means he's going to play well into his 40s. Also, last season in an interview, he said he wants to be like Tom Brady and play till he can't walk no more. I have no idea. I'm not, I'm not at the end of my story, so I have no idea. Have you, do you think about that? Like how long you want to play, the circumstances in which you uh, stop and things like that? No, not really. Not the way I feel right now. Me and Tom Brady are one of the same. We're going to play until we can't walk no more. If he ends up playing for that long, I think Braun has a really great chance of being considered the greatest of all time. A lot of people think he's the GOAT already, but the majority still has MJ as the GOAT. But I think that's definitely going to change if he retires in his 40s. By that time, he should be at least a six-time champ, have six final MVPs, be number one in scoring, top three in assists, and top 30 in rebounds. He's also going to have a bunch of other records nobody's probably ever going to break. If he does that, there's no way you can't call him the GOAT after that. But according to Stephen A. Smith, there's nothing Braun could do to become the GOAT. Hell no. Look, I'm not changing my mind in this position. I don't know how many times I got to tell people, look, LeBron James is on my Mount Rushmore. He's top two, top three all time. He will never get a vote over Jordan from me. Who hasn't said that LeBron James is on the Mount Rushmore basketball? Who hasn't said he's top four all time? Everybody acknowledges that. What we debate is whether or not he deserves GOAT status, the greatest of all time. Now, for the record, for this particular segment, let me confirm what I've confirmed on many occasions. Okay. Hell no. Hell no. Lying, big boy. Stop lying. That's number one. Number two, you are absolutely right. There's nothing that's going to change my mind. To me, Michael Jordan is the greatest of all time, but him and LeBron James sitting at the same table. Then he wonders why fans are mad at him for saying that. He's number two all time. Oh my God, shoot him. That's such a terrible, <laughs> what an insult. Oh my God, I have you number two. <laughs> the game of basketball started in 1946. The NBA was in 1950. In the last 70 plus years, I have said there is only one player on the planet Earth that is better than LeBron James and you would think I'm the Antichrist. But fans aren't mad that he thinks Braun is number two. I think they're more mad at the fact he feels like Braun has no chance at all. Which is false because if Braun does what I said earlier, I think he's definitely going to be considered the GOAT after that. But what do y'all think? If Braun ends up winning six rings and is number one in scoring, top three in assists, and top 20 in rebounds, will he be considered the GOAT? Or does he still have no chance? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more vids. Peace.